how, 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 how? You're supposed to be here to protect us. People are scared. I'm scared. You've been scared to call the police now. You, that's scary. You shouldn't be scared because you don't know what's going to happen. And man, that is scary. It is really scary. Sharon Parker lives right around the corner from where Alton Sterling died, and she says she just bought CDs from him a few weeks ago. She described Sterling as polite and a man trying to make an honest living for his family. Christopher Barnes says he was outraged when he saw the video and has many questions for police. If, if, if a guy that is legally trying to support himself, and that's what he has to go through with a police officer, does it make you scared? It makes you scared. I mean, that guy sells CDs. Police Chief Carl Dabity, East Baton Rouge Parish District Attorney Hiller Moore, and Mayor Kip Holden tried to answer the public's questions Wednesday morning, but pushed many of them to federal investigators. When officers arrived, Sterling was armed, and the altercation ensued that resulted in the loss of his life. Exactly what happened at this time is the reason we are here today. Like you, there are a lot that we do, uh, there is a lot that we do not understand. And at this point, like you, I am demanding answers. Officials say dashboard cameras, surveillance video, and other videos are available. But they are being handed over to the United States Attorney's Office and the FBI, who will now take the lead on this case. The questions can, and, and the concern can be really focused on what happened, why did it happen, was it justified, was it not justified, what happened. But many are asking what's next for the officers who right now are on paid administrative leave. Jail time. I mean, you kill someone, you pay the crime. You pay the price, you know. You need, you need justice for the grieving family. You left someone a widow. You left kids without father. For whatever they did, if their actions were wrong, they need to be held accountable for it. Because this is getting out of hand. Not only here in Florida, in other states, and you see it's getting out of hand. Now, leaders say there must be a hearing before they can decide whether or not the officers will be fired. For Local 33 News, I'm Lucy Hayes.